Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share a little bit with you. I put up a new um, customizer on Thingiverse to create uh, 608ZZ based spool thingamabobs, these things. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. So I designed this in OpenSK. I created a customizer, put it up there so if you want to do it. I created this primarily for the Wanhao, and we'll go over to the Wanhao and look at it in a minute. Uh, but basically what this does is the customizer allows you to detail the, the taper here, the minimum and maximum, because what this is designed for is to fit multiple spool sizes. And, and obviously it's going to go in or out depending upon the opening of the spool holder. Because the other piece is for the want how, because I'm printing more precision or trying to anyway, I wanted a unified roll with this because typically what happens is if you say take a, a regular spool uh, of filament, sort of like this one which just appeared, and we'll, we'll pretend this is our spool holder that goes in here, well, what happens is it pulls it against this. Now, it does rotate, but if you if you were to do this, you'll feel that the rotation is not uniform, obviously, because it's not rolling around the center. And so there is a different amount of pull needed. Now, for most things, this isn't really going to affect it. Uh, but I want to get uh, far more uniformity out of the want how because I want to do like nylon gears and things like that. So I wanted something that had a unified pull on it. So that's the reason I whipped these up. I've seen a couple others specifically out there, but what what I did is I also retrofitted uh, the one how for quarter 20 bolt across the top and we'll go over to the one how we'll talk about that a little bit more and uh, so I needed something that was customized to fit this and so the customizer you can change the opening diameter of this to you know a 5 8 bolt or a metric size bolt or whatever you want um, you know but again and you can also change the bearing size too uh but you know the six the six zero eight zz is you know i mean there's zillions of them out there and it's a handy little bearing so you can go up to i think uh what maybe five eights five sixteenths i can't remember uh what the actual inner diameter i think it's um of this is but anyways you sort of get the idea so tell you what let's head over to the one how and take a look at this in action okay here we are back we've got a small roll of tpu uh, loaded down here and as you can see this is butter smooth and because the way that this works this pulls it in perfectly uh, round if you will I guess that's what to call it so so my pull on this is is completely uniform and with very little friction because of the bearings um, what I would also suggest and I'll have a link down below is to put a little bit of Teflon lubricant in the bearing. So what I typically do with my, 80, uh, my 608 ZZ bearings is I clean these out, soak them in alcohol for a while to get the Chinese grease out of them a bit. Um, and then what I do is I uh, squirt a little bit of uh, that Teflon lubricant I've covered in a prior episode in there. And these guys are butter smooth. This guy just rolls perfectly. So as, as the extruder pulls this, it's going to have a uniform pull. So I'm more than likely going to get uniform delivery of plastic to the print surface. So this is really what I'm after. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. I'll have the link to this out on Thingiverse above. Uh, hey, go ahead, print it. If you do a make, hey, please uh, post a make on there. Follow me on Thingiverse. Swag shop up there. You guys know the routine. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit that bell button for notifications of new videos. I put them out on regular content. I've been doing this for over, for what, like almost three years now since, or going, I think going on three years. But anyways, put a lot of videos out. I think over 500 so far on this channel alone. So anyways, cheers and we'll see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.